Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Duck, we're back with some bloody acrylic. I love it. Um, people do ask me, um, do you prefer acrylic, gel, acro gel, whatever? And I love it all, but there's a special place in my heart for acrylic. So launching our own acrylic range is just like, you know, a massive milestone for us. Mm -hmm. It really is, because yeah. I just, I love it. I really do. So yeah. And it's going to grow very quickly as well. Yeah. Like that core range is going to get eclipsed by everything else. That I comes. know, yeah. It will. So yeah, I love it. So today I'm going to show you how to do a marble using the core range that we have in our acrylics. So yeah, whoop whoop. We've got a sculpt out as well, which Adam will be happy about because he just loves me sculpting. I don't know why. He's always saying, can we sculpt? Can we sculpt? Can we like sculpt? It. I mean, I, it is a bit weird that I like it. Maybe. Yeah, so. but you do. So I'm not going to use the full length of the form, so I'm going to pop the tab just there. And then with our forms, we have a perforation line here. So you see there's one there and there's one there and it runs through. And you're just going to bend that perforation line and then you can tear off that bit. But if you're going to do extreme nails, you'll want that length. And I'm going to do a, oh, what shape? What is he doing again? A marble? Mm. 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 You've done a square. Yeah. You've done a omeletto. Omeletto. Omeletto, yeah. Arm, almond, armletto. Armletto. See, you say armletto there. Armletto. Oh, you're saying L, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's an L in almond, I'm sorry, oh, you pronounce it. Pronounced as an Do you know what I mean? Um, I know my English ain't that good, even though I'm English, and I just, I'm as common as they come. <laughs> but, I'm sure it's almond. Almond, not almond, almond. It's got, yeah. blah, 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 blah. It's got a little in it, Adam. Oh. All right. So I think we'll do a modern almond. Modern almond? Modern almond. Modern almond. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is going to get these two little tabs. And I'm just going to join them there, a little tiny bit, not not a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm going to open the form up, offer it up to the nail. And then close here and here, and then we're going to slightly taper. So the form will be tighter here, so it's closed more here than it is here. We want it sitting no wider than the natural nail. We're going to imagine that this plastic nail that's in the Aliana hand is somebody's nail plate. <laughs> now, it's a beautiful nail plate. I wouldn't mind having them myself, look. But yes, it's beautiful. So form is on nice and tight we're ready to rock and roll then we're going to use the oscar brush we're going to lay down a thin layer of clear first so we're going to go in with glass slipper the good thing about these pots is if you're ever getting down to the bottom yeah that was one thing i was going to ask you sure you can angle them like this and then you can still go in yeah, it pots. just sits there nice, doesn't it? Perfect. The diamond cut pots are multifunctional. So if this was a real person, we would use the primer. She's not a real person, but we're still going to use the primer. Just because you like the bottle, isn't it? Because I love the bottle. So You're going to have to get more of them for you. <laughs> just love you. Oh. Primer. Let that air dry. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three. Pop that on, and we're just going to make a very thin extension. We're going to bridge the gap by blend, blend, blending onto that natural nail. Then check your sides, and then we're going to shape the brush and make sure it's nice and clean. And we're going to pat, press, and pull. Pat, 
press and pull. Pat, press and pull, pat, press and pull. By pat, pressing and pulling, the three Ps, we are going to pull the product down and create the length. Nice and thin, it's not, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. So the shape is gonna scoop up at the side. Like that. Same the other side. Again, make sure it's nice and thin. Just making sure that that stress area has a little bead of clear. So we've got glass slipper, strip tees, lightning white, and then we've also got our natural colour, which is bare booty. No, it's not, it's in the buff. And then we've got bare booty as well. <laughs> Jesus, gotta remember all the names. I know, because they sad, those don't have, we should let people know really why you don't know this, because they don't have stickers on the bottom yet. Yeah, these haven't got stickers on the bottom yet. Yeah, Kirsty yeah, gets everything quicker. <laughs> Before the stickers were ready. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Label, sorry. Right, so you've got all these colours. And you're probably thinking you don't need them all. But but yes, we do. We just need them all. What we're gonna do is I need to make sure I can dip in all of these and I definitely can't wear the position. I was just trying to keep them in shot for you for you guys, but I just I've had to move them, sorry. So we're gonna have bare booty. Lay that down. Then we get white. Lay that down. We've got clear. Lay that down. Then we've got what's it called? Strip tees. Strip tees. And then we have in the buff. So I'm just going to pull through them and move it around a little bit. Still making sure I am. Got product, you know, at the cuticle, nice and neat. So I can pull through to create a marble. So we've got a nice marble already. We're going for, we're not just going for a swoosh, 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 we're going for a realistic mar marble. So again, I'm gonna go this side and I'm gonna do the same colors. Notice they're a little bit wetter. Okay, let's clean that brush and then we can go into that and marble that bit. Pull that down, be gentle with it. You don't want to overwork it. So make sure you keep your shape and again we are going to lay these on top of each other so quick bead pick up gonna add a little bit of white here into that Move it around. Okay. 
I'm going to make sure my cuticle is clean. Then once you're happy with your marble, you can tap that with clear to fill in any gaps. I feel like I want to add a bit of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the glitter shop. <laughs> gonna put in a bit of. We've been to the glitter shop and we've come back with a bit of mat, bit of um, <laughs> foil. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you should see the glitter shop we have. Mm. <laughs> so this is um, from Nail Me. They do like a big set of these. I want to, I want to break this up though, so it's a little bit smaller. Like that. Then I'm just gonna pick that up with my brush. Press that where I want it to go. So you notice I've popped that into like the, the recesses. So anything that was low. So when we're using clear to encapsulate, use it slightly wetter than you would do to build out structure. And it'll fall into those recesses. You'll be able to move it around really easily. You'll have less bubbles as well. Place that on and we're just going to use our brush really low the angle is really low and we're just going to cap that and this is where you want to you know do your shaping so if you've got no apex make sure you're putting in that apex with your clear but the beauty about using the core powders to create a marble is you know there is a whole load of strength in that nail because they have so much strength in them. I'm going to let that set, then we'll give it a file. You can pinch it if you need to. We'll have a little monitor of it. We'll see if we want to pinch it. It's got quite a good curve on it at the minute, but we can. If you want to pinch, just let that start to go matte. And then once it's matte, then you can come in and test pinch that. So I've pinched that a little bit. Ah, oh, we can take that form off. And if you don't know what this little black band is, I'm sick of telling you, so go watch the other videos, because I've explained it a fair few times now. So yeah, <laughs> go watch the other acrylic videos. <laughs> and we can file in now. So straight side wall when you're doing a modern almond. And then this, you don't want it like this. That'll be more like a Russian almond or a Gothic almond. But you can start by sort of chiseling that out with your file to give yourself a guide, yeah? But then what this needs to do is have a soft curve. So you soften that off. 
I'm going to use the e-file. So I'm going to use the purple ceramic bit. So the actual bit itself is pink, but it's got a purple band and it's got a purple Swarovski crystal at the end. It's our most coarse ceramic bit. I'm going to use it on between sort of 23 and 25 rotations. And I'm going to start to take off the bulk. And I'm looking down the barrel to see where the bulk is as well. Not just on top, not just at the side. I also feel it as well. So if we can feel any like little dips or anything like that. And I'm going to go in with my hand file. and perfect that shape. I'm going to buff this now, make it nice and smooth. By buffing it, you're going to remove the demarcations in the nail. So those scratches, this is this buffer is going to smooth that down so it's nice and smooth. The top coat will still stick to it because it's not as smooth as like glass. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to soften those edges with the buffer as well, which is going to help you with the shape. You want that nice soft edge. This shape is such a lovely shape to wear. Because it's got no harsh edges. Let's wipe over it with some cleanup solution. Oh, it already looks gorgeous! Oh, let's do a top coat. We're definitely going glossy this time. This is defo a glossy yeah, nail. It can't those, be matte. No, you've definitely you've got that uh, gold in there. It definitely needs gloss. Yeah, and you get this depth, gorgeous depth in there as well because of the way that we did it because there was little recesses you get all the depth and it's a lovely effect and the glossy top coat really shows that off let's give that a cure so this glossy top coat is a tack free top coat there's no sticky layer once it's cured bish bash bosh you're done <laughs> yeah, it does hand. look real. It looks real enough to have cuticle oil. It needs cuticle oil on. Marble nail with a bit of golf foiling. Using all those core colours. I think it looks lovely. That would make a banging full set, that would. 
Aliana, will you do my nails for me, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so everything we've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. Um, any discount codes we have are also in the description box. Hope that will help you save some pennies. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.